Well, it's move out day. And look what me and Autumn found by the dumpsters this morning. I am slowly, very slowly, working towards a full, unified living room of furniture. But for now, we have these, which go together about as well as ducks and cantaloupe. But it's very comfy, and I've been needing a bench for my keyboard. I very well might paint over this, but that's a project for another day. For now, I'll set them where they're going to be going as I pack up my keyboard and take all my stuff home. Pretty much everyone else has already left. To say it feels like a melancholy day seems like a bit of an understatement. Goodbye, Sharky. For the life of me, I can't remember your name. Is it Barry? Farewell, apartment. Until next semester. Diamond, is that a possum? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I know, you found him. He looks very scary on the camera. He looks kind of cute in real person. In real person? Let's go inside, Diamond. Come on, leave the possum be. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl for protecting us from the possum? It's good to be home. Look, I have so many different points of light in my room. I got a salt lamp, and I forgot that mom had found this somewhere. Texted me a picture a while back, and I was like, dude, that's dope. Why is it white? It's clearly green. That's a really weird thing my camera does. Look, I'm all blue themed. Got my painting coat on. The, the the coat of the coat of many paint colors. And pants of similar origin. Because I'm doing painting and have been since yesterday. As I usually do, I am making creative homemade gifts for the family. It's a way to personalize what I give to the family and each of the family members while keeping it inexpensive. I don't want to give too much away, but this one's not really too far along. I just have the background painted. So this doesn't give away much about what this painting is going to turn into. But I've finished all the other ones. And that's what I've been doing for the last two days. Ah, and dad arrives with my fries. Lunch break. Hi, yes, it's a Sunday morning because I didn't sign out yesterday and I want to show you our tree. So this year we uh, did something a little different. Basically mom was asking, what do you think we should do for the tree this year? Should we try something different? And no one really had any ideas. So I just started throwing things at the tree as whatever came to mind. So we ended up with lights starting from the top and coming down in a straight line. And in between those lights, our beads also coming down in a straight line. And then once I did that, because it looked ugly on the top, I put a hat on it. Right now it looks like a very sad hat. And then I put this ornament on it. It's a Christmas Corona. Dr. Cluck from the clinic at my college, that was a lot of C's, made these and passed them out in the stew. Well, once we had that on there, I figured it was just a Corona theme tree. So I took a bunch of these very lime green, they look yellow on the camera, but they're lime green, an honestly not so pleasant color. And I, uh, threw them haphazardly all around the tree. This, of course, is meant to signify mucus. And bada boom, bada bing, we have a corona tree. No one wanted this, but this is what happened. And there's my gifts for the family under the tree. I wrapped them in green to complement the mucus tree. And I don't really feel bad about telling the vlog what they are because I couldn't possibly work for hours on paintings without my family asking what I was doing. So they all know at least that they're paintings. Anyways, it's good to be back. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> Alright, Diamond.